Hello everybody, it's Colleen Geddert here from Geddert Creations. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. I am back from vacation for a few days where I will be whisking my mother off um, again back to the cabin that my husband and I just spent two weeks at. So I am home for a few days and I could not help but get back into my craft room to do something fun. I went to the mail today and I have some wonderful pieces of mail that I won't be needing and they are the thicker pieces I know I have shown you guys these before and I know many of you also use these but I love these they are so great to work with for master boards and and whatnot to be cut down into tags and pockets and whatnot so I also wanted to show you this one in particular if you ever get these in the mail and you have like these two little they're like little credit card type thingies I use these for um, when I'm, you know, doing my binding, my um, my book binding, building my spines and stuff, and I'm, I'm using glue and to spread my glues, I use these a lot. So I stack these up since they come in they're free, and I don't, I don't use these for buying meals online, I make my own, but um, anyway, so just for a little tip, these are great to work with to spread out your glues evenly. So I'm going to tuck these aside. And so let's, let's just do some fun collaging on these. I'll show you what I threw together. This is what we're going to make. This is a smaller one um, that I also added a piece of scrap to the back for a journaling spot. And I just covered it, collaged with straight strips. And I did a flower focal point. And I also added a bird dangle and a little piece of twine. And a tab and a little bit of, of uh, oh my good, cheesecloth. So anyways, this is just what I'm going to show you guys. I know most of you do these all the time. They're the funnest thing ever when you don't really um, want to start a brand new project. Um, so let's do that. Let's just work together, do something fun, something simple, have a little chit chat. As you can see, I do, I do tend to craft with a bit of um, organization. So I've got all my music strips, book page strips, brown paper bag strips, and these off cuts that I tore into strips. So we will be using these four. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to use four uh, paper elements, music paper, book pages, brown bag, and printable images. And that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> As you can see, we've got brown bag book pages, printable, and another printable. I didn't have these torn while I made this, but I thought let's add some music paper as well. So if you're interested, that's what you'll need or not. You could use whatever pieces of paper that, you know, suits your fancy. I'm going to be using this no sew fabric, no sew fabric glue. Um, by the way, a shout out to Daisy Journal Company. She recently did a video and she talked about this Eileen's No Sew Fabric Glue. I typically use three in one when I'm doing bigger, major projects, but this she said works perfectly. She's never had an issue. So if you're gluing on, like for example, this little piece of cheesecloth, see how it, it dries clear? It comes out white, but it dries clear. So I thought, you know what? It was super inexpensive. I just thought, let's try something that is less expensive. So we're going to use that and a glue stick. I like to use Scotch Create, and I'm going to probably maybe use a little bit of this art glitter glue just for gluing down little, little tiny corners and whatnot. And then you're going to need, if you want to ink, an ink and an ink dauber and maybe your bone folder to spread down your pieces onto your whatever you're gluing onto so that's that let's move this aside <clears throat> and we shall begin so i'm going to just start with this mailer here nice box of veggies and all i do i need to be in okay all i do i do different um collaging um projects uh sometimes i do straight across strips sometimes I do wonky all over the place strips sometimes I do bigger fatter chunkier what have you today I'm going to do straight across just because I'm going to keep it nice and simple and then I'm going to use this container 
has a bunch of die cuts. Floral, butterfly, bird type die cuts I'm going to use as the focal point on each one of these. The bigger ones I'm going to cover are like this. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but they are variegated into different... I have the option to, once I collage it, I could use them as little tea cards because they're perfectly variegated to that size. Or I could, very, you know, use this portion, even though they're all variegated, but I can just use this portion and use it as a, a tag. So I've got some options there, which are fun. So let's start. Now, what I do is I take a book and I like to glue on book pages so that I am not gluing on my desk. So let's get going. Oh, the other thing too is I tear out um, pieces of paper from different, you know, journal books I buy at the dollar store just with blank pages with lines so that these become the, these pieces become the journaling spots. And they can be blank, they can be paper bag, they can be file folder, they can be whatever you want. This is what I'm using today. Okay. Well, I'm going to take my glue stick here and I'm going to just start gluing with no rhyme nor reason. So I tend to work from the bottom up and I glue right across the page or the, the piece that I'm working on. And I'm going to start with a piece of book page. This is an Edith Holden. Do I want the print or do I want the image? Let's go with the image. And it doesn't have to go right across because I'm going to fill that in anyhow. And then I'm going to maybe start one here, maybe a shorter strip. So let's do a book page. This looks like a good size. You could do it upside down. You could do it right side up. I just tend to do whatever I feel like doing in the moment. Okay, so I'm going to keep on gluing. I'm going to glue this piece here. I'm going to do glue a little bit over the page. Just to add that extra layering. So now I'm going to do an image here, or a brown bag. Let's do a brown, a sheet of the brown here. Oh, let's do a straight across one. Okay, let's do this one. These are so relaxing, these little fun projects. And I'm going to cut around the edges so I don't mind that it's hanging over at the moment. Okay, let's do maybe fill in this corner. Now you could do as much layering as you want but because this is a thicker um, junk piece of junk mail I don't feel the need to do a lot of layering but I am going to put hmm let me see let me see let's do I want to do floral or do I want to do let's do some music page yeah let's do some music And then I'm going to show you how I don't ink until I have completed the master board. And then I'll show you my, my lazy way of inking instead of inking every single page. Okay, now what I need is something solid. So that brings me to another piece of brown paper. I think this was packing paper. I can't remember, but that's what I think it was. Okay, so I'm going to just finish off this corner and I can tell it's nice and sturdy even before I started. Okay. And let's get some of these out of the way because I'm sure it's confusing you. my camera here you guys sorry just one second I've been I've been out of it for a little while I've got to get back into the groove of my craft room okay so this is complete as far as the layering of the base so I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to go around the I turn it upside down or 
to the back so that I can see where I need to cut. Stick into my scissors. And as you can see, you want to use up scraps, but you create more scraps, which I will gladly add to my collaging without problems. Okay, so now we have the base of it done. And as you can see, there are some little odds and ends that are sticking up. That's where this glue comes in. And I'm gonna just glue it down. I don't like to have little corners sticking up because when, depending on what you're gonna use this for, if you're using it as a tag tucking into a pocket and you have these little corners that are stuck or sticking up, they sometimes catch. But there are no rules. You could also do uh, more grungy and fold up corners and whatnot, which I might do with one of these things with one of my mailers here today. Another little corner here. Might as well go right up to the top. Oops. So see how quick this is? Now I'm going to add the focal point as you will be expecting me to, since that's what I said. I'm gonna put this glue back. And again, you could, you could add more layers of this, that, and the other thing. I am not, I'm keeping it super simple today for you guys. I sometimes just like to get you started for anybody that's in a bit of a funk. And then you can just use your own imagination. I start you and you can finish it off your own imagination. So I might just do a butterfly. How about that? I'm feeling good about that. So before I put this down, let's go ahead and do some inking. So I'm going to take my book again. I'm going to place it on here. And so what I'm going to do is just start thinking around, give it some, some oomph. Oh, I see I've got to cover this piece. Then we shall. So I like to get the edges of each piece that I put on. You don't have to again, it's your own, your own creativity. So I'm going to cover this piece here. Let's do that right now before I get any further in. Actually, maybe I'm going to bring it in a bit. And what do I want to fill it with? Maybe a piece of book page, just to keep it all balanced. I'm going to, ooh, I can't go against what I, I'm just going to tear that piece. Nope, I need it fatter. Okay, so let's grab this piece. Perfect. And I am going to do it backwards, though. And glue it right down here. Oh, excuse the neighbors. If you guys hear any loud screaming and whatnot, they're, they do tend to be loud. There are five girls next door, teenagers. Um, yeah, so they can get a bit rowdy. In case you hear that, that's what it is. Okay, cut this piece off, and voila, take some ink. I like this inker, dabber, uh, when I'm doing mass inking and for, for speed and whatnot, because it, you just have to, well, you can see what I'm doing here. It's much quicker. Maybe do this part. Can't always see ink on brown bags, but okay. Let's see. Am I in frame? I am. And now we are going to add. Do I want it here or do I want it there? Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to put it here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this off the book page. These books come in handy for all sorts of things for gluing on so you're not gluing on your desk or 
of course, for book pages and whatnot, but I often, that's why I never turn down books when I come across cheap ones or the ones that I get for free because they become my glue pads. Okay, so now that's the base. Next thing, as you can see, I added um, a little tab up here and a little piece of cheesecloth and some twine. And I kept the, the um, what do you call that? When you tear out your page of your notebook, I kept that there just for some interest. I won't always do that. Uh, let's see. I won't put a dangle on this one, but let's put some let's put some uh, cheesecloth somewhere. So just cut a piece. Who doesn't love cheesecloth, hey? And you give it a little scrunchy, scrunch it up. And then sometimes I even dab it a bit with my inker just to give it some color. And maybe I'll put it just for some, some texture. I think I'll put it right here. So this is where I'm going to use. I just got this yesterday and I've used it once on this one here. <clears throat> and I was happy with it. I don't know that I would use this for a big project where I'm using a lot of fabric. But it certainly seemed to do the trick for this, these little quick collaging projects. So I'm going to add this right here. You can see the music through this cheesecloth like that. And then I'm going to open up my drawers in front of me here and grab I'm going to grab let's see a tab I have so many cut up when I have scraps of any size I take my my tab punchers and I start punching this one I'm going to cut out because this was this was a tab printable I actually uh, printed a little too large but I like that they're large tabs for certain projects like this one. And it says notes, which is kind of cool because that's what this is. This is a journaling card. So before I glue this down, I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to lay Probably because of the size of it, I'm going to lay a couple pieces of this paper. Sometimes I do it this way so that it's not exactly covering the whole thing, but it just does a bit of, it does a bit of a wonky, gives a wonky vibe. So let's do that. Just let your creative juices flow, people. There are no rules. I am so happy to be back in my craft room, but we did have a wonderful, wonderful time at the cabin. We rent a cabin every summer and we take our fishing boat and we go and we relax. We take our dog and I'm going to do another piece here and then I'm going to cut around and you'll see what I'm doing here. Um, we take our dog and we just go and enjoy the peace and quiet. Oh, it's my favorite time of year. But yeah, I decided to take my mother back with me this time. She's she's 78. And let's see, let's see, let's do that. Yeah, I like that. She's 78 and she loves waterside anything. And I know that, well, when she was young growing up, she used to go with her family to Woodland Beach, Ontario. Her parents had a cottage there and so that's where she grew up but because she's you know not been around water for years I thought it would be fun to take her for a few nights just her and I I'm even leaving my dog behind it's killing me but you know what he has a daddy and daddy doesn't get enough of uh quality time with Otis because I am Otis's person oh my goodness he is glued to me like velcro so I thought ah we'll just do a girl's a girl's weekend so okay so as you can see there are pieces here I'm going to glue down 
better than that. See, I can talk and I can do this and it turns out just fine. This is a craft that I just enjoy a lot. I did start um, a project on vacation. Um, I was all good to go the first week, but then I just, you know what? I lost my crafty mojo. I spent a lot of time in the boat, so I have to get back to it. If you follow me on my Instagram, Get Art Creations, I have a full page um, of all, you know, different crafts that I start and finish and post. And so if you're interested, you're welcome to follow me. And you'll notice the project that I started. It's a it's a uh, an Elvin Woods journal. It's like a fantasy slash elf type journal. It's way out of my comfort zone. But I decided to take myself out of my comfort zone. And I'm actually not minding it. Um, not my favorite thing, not my favorite theme, but it's been enjoyable and I just thought I need to I need to challenge myself. So that's why I started it. But yeah. You're, you'll be able to see what I've started if you follow me. Okay, so you see now we have writing space, but I also want to ink this up. I should put it on the book here. Everything needs a bit of ink sometimes, hey? Uh, my next video, I'm going to show you uh, what came in the, what came on from Amazon recently. I won a prize, a giveaway from Dale McBay from Not Too Shabby Chic. Follow her, you guys. You'll love her. Not Too Shabby Chic. When I do the video, I will link her channel. Um, anyways, I got some inks and actually this glue I bought with the Amazon gift card that I won from her. One of her recent giveaways. Because I'm Canadian, the Canadian winner got a gift card of, of her choice so that's what I chose I chose an Amazon gift card and this is what I ordered I ordered some inks from Tim Holtz and this no so glue and I'll show you the inks and my container that I keep my inks in I love it it's new I, it's recently new anyway all right so now this I'm going to maybe quickly just give it a bit of ink and I'm going to add it as the tab. Can you guys believe it's September and the kids are already back to school? Oh my goodness, I just, I can't. I can't even. Time's just not slots. Time's going too quickly. It's crazy. I have two grandsons. Colin is in, started grade two and Walker is two and a half, almost two and a half. So he's not in school yet. But, oh my goodness, time just goes too quickly. Okay, so I'm going to, I used the no so glue because I'm gluing this down onto the cheesecloth. You probably don't need to, I don't know. But I'm doing it anyway. So I'm going to hold this down. It doesn't hold as quickly as my Fabri-Tac or my Fabri-Fix or whatever it is. But it does the job and it, like I said, guys, it's cheap. It's cheaper, like by a long shot. So there, it's not that exciting, but it is a journaling card with lots of room for journaling. But it's not a real journaling card unless it has some coffee stains. So we gotta do the coffee stain and a little splash. There, now it's legit. I could, I could do another, you know what, let's, let's do another dangle. If you guys are interested, I'm going to do it right now. So I take, I take this, I'm sure you all have, those that do these have different methods, but I'm going to take this, oh my goodness, crop it, crop, what is it, a crop it up. I'm going to make a hole, punch a hole, and I'm going to add this little, Give it a little squeeze and then I am going to I had something prepared here and it's a bird isn't that a bird like gorgeous it's I have a package of bird dangles that recently arrived while I was on vacation that I forgot I ordered which is got uh, it's good because I did a 
I, I finished a bird journal and you're welcome to check out my video of it. There's a flip through on my previous channel, I think. And I'm working on another one now. So I was quite happy that these bird uh, dangles came now. Let's get in there. Okay. So here we have it. So there you go. We got a butterfly and we got a bird and it's just really simple you could like I said you could add more strips to this I'm gonna I, I might but I just wanted to do sort of um, do some base base projects that I can cut up I can maybe cut here it could be a tag which it probably will become a tag and this one will become another tag here hmm I think we should cut it right now yeah, let's do that. Let's cut it up right now. Do I want to do circle? Give it uh, corner punches? Let's do that too. Because why not? Corner punch there. Corner punch. There, it gives it a little bit of a different vibe. Um... Now, I can either just simply cut up with my scissors or I might use my little guillotine. See how this guillotine works on a project like this. Excuse me, I'm gonna put these aside here. Okay, there we go. So I don't, oh, you know what? I'm gonna have to turn it this way because it wouldn't fit. Now, will it? Yes, it will. We'll see what happens. Won't know unless we try. Um, I think I'll cut it about here because I want a little bit of the cheesecloth. Okay, here we go. Oh, it didn't cut through the cheesecloth on the first round, but that's okay. Because... I can add more cheesecloth to this. And now what I'm going to do is add a bit of ink. Okay, where's my dauber? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Where did I put my dauber? I know you guys can relate because one minute it's in your hand and the next it's not. And where did it go? How can it have disappeared so quickly? Oh, I put it back where it belongs. Imagine that. Okay. We will ink this piece up. So we've got this one here. So I'm gonna maybe just glue that around instead of cutting it off. On the count of cuz, like it belongs on this page here. And maybe I'll fold it back. This gives a little different texture. So that suddenly we've got a different looking tag. That's hilarious. Well, now it needs a focal point. It doesn't need it, but I'm gonna give it one anyway. So I'm going to go through this little bundle of goodness. This here, um, this container of die cuts was from my friend Stephanie from Coffee Paper Scissors. She sent this, we did a journal swap and she sent this as part of the package. And uh, I'm just loving it. I know it's floral here, but it's going to be floral there too. So guys, what have you been up to this summer? I'd love to know if you've got any great plans for the fall. Do you have new projects started? My goal is to join one or two challenges. I have just not given myself time to do that because I'm so busy making journals. I can't stop as you, <laughs> you well know that if you follow me, I love making journals. Um, and they take time. So I haven't joined very, in fact, maybe one challenge. 
I joined and it's I just yeah I need to join more challenges because I see everybody having so much fun doing that all right I'm gonna put this down here and there we have a journaling card this one needs a rounded corner I might have to cut that myself here Give it a bit of ink. Okay, there we have it. There's your bird journaling card, or bird dangle. And this one, I'm gonna have to doctor up a little bit because I think it needs some a little more color. So here is my pile of strips. Let's see. What do I want to put on here? Maybe <clears throat> I want to do that one. Or this end. Yeah, let's do that. But I'm going to tear it straight. Sometimes I just don't like using my scissors. So let's do it right here. Okay. Oops, that's the new the new one that I ran out. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know uh, what you use for glue sticks. I love Scotch Create. It's a bit gooey, but it, boy, does it stick. Okay, here we go. Maybe. We'll keep it and do that. I don't know yet. We'll see. <clears throat> okay, turning it over, giving it a chop. It's just cut already around the cut corner. So you guys like me when you get home from vacation sometimes it feels like you need another vacation the day of and the day the day of of going on vacation and the day of coming home depending what you're doing but going to a cabin you know you got to bring enough food for two to three weeks although we do a shop in between there but it's not we're, we have a bit of a drive to the nearest grocery store so I try to bring enough groceries for a good long while so anyways, um, packing up, cleaning the cabin, because I don't know, I can't help it. It's like, it's like there is a cleaning fee in the cost of the cabin, but when I leave a cabin, I leave it sparkling. I'm sure that the cleaning lady walked in and sat and texted and played on her phone, because honestly, she would have not had a thing to do. I washed the bathroom, the tub, the toilet, I did the kitchen, the sink, the fridge. I cleaned her. Because that's what I like to do. I like to just leave a... I don't like to leave a mess behind. Not that we made a mess, but... Anyway, that said, by the time you get home and unpacked, it was a five-hour trip because we had some fires and some highways were closed, so it took us longer to get home. And not complaining, not complaining, but um, I was exhausted the first couple of days. Anyways, here we go. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. I'm going to get another one to back it. Oh, and another yellow one, no less. So, yeah. Again, I'm not complaining. Oh, my goodness. It was a beautiful two, two and a half or whatever week, two weeks away. Just peaceful and relaxing. And then we got home and the very next day, the very next two days, we were watching our grandsons. My daughter and her husband moved into, uh, they had sold their home in Langley and they bought another one in Alder Grove, BC. So we, um, for, for the following two days after we got home, we got to go and enjoy the grand, our grandsons for those two days. They had stuff going on. Oh yeah, let's do yellow. 
and so I was yeah I was done after that I needed some downtime so for the past couple of days my feet have been up I came in my craft room yesterday but I just didn't I just didn't have any gas in me didn't know what I wanted to do and today a different story just something hit me the mail probably the mail that's what happens sometimes it just takes a little bit of fun mailers to get your creative juices flowing okay so there that's again nothing special but it gives you an idea you could add a little bit of maybe i will i will add a little bit of paper right there a little bit too much white going on we're going to cover up the 29 no reason just because Do it sideways Chopperoo. I could sit and do things like this for hours. I mean, I am an empty nester. You probably caught on to that because I do tend to spend a lot of time in my craft room if I'm not watching my grand bumpkins or whatever. Other, I yeah, I just my life before crafting was mama mothering, driving kids all over tarnation because I've been a full-time homemaker the whole time my kids were born have been born and one is turning 30 and my daughter is turning 28 this year so my son's turning 30 I can't even believe that but I've always been a full-time homemaker and so they've I think they moved out what let me see well they were both 20 years old and they they were independent and they got their own places and moved out at 20 um, thankfully they're not too far away come on glue stick but uh, so it was okay what am I going to do now we did take in a gal with disabilities for a few years Janet um, so she lived with us full time and then she moved um, up into the interior of BC to be with family and then we were really empty nesters my husband's always worked from home for, well, for the last 15 years, I guess, or more. And um, yeah, so I never had a craft room. I never had a hobby. I tried sewing for one night. No, knitting. I tried knitting. It was an absolute disaster. I did not enjoy anything about knitting. I, yeah, I didn't know what I was going to do. Anyhow, make a long story short, I happened upon this paper crafting jur junk journaling bible journaling anything paper i'm a, i i just it hit me hard so for the last few years this room was a, a spare bedroom with a little bed there wasn't even a crayon in sight now this craft now this bedroom is full on craft room shelves and shelves and shelves of crafts and books and paper and and fun things and this craft room was born and my my love for journaling was born. So anyways, here we have another one. I think we'll add, let's, let's do one more. See, I have these, all kinds of these charms. And... Oh, look at that. I have a yellow one. Let's go yellow. Okay chop a bunch of a yellow. Let's do this side. Probably could have done a blue one, but that's okay. I'm such a matchy-matchy person. Okay, that's down nice and dark. And do I have you know what? We're going to do a twine. Let's do twine since we've got some paper let's I often pull these apart I don't know if you guys do but I do I like to use up every ounce of my supplies to as much as I can okay so I'm going to fold this up for anybody new out there these are little tips I learned along the way I didn't always know but I watched and learned from all these other creative crafters out there pull it up and I'm going to tie a bow. I'm such a bow girl. I can't help it. Okay. 
And then I'm going to pull this in to make the loops a little bit smaller. There. Isn't that so cute? I don't think I'm going to do a dangle, though. We're keeping this one simpler. So there. Another little journaling card out of the mailer with a little bit of frayed this and that. That's kind of cute. Okay, we'll do one more together. And then I will leave you guys to do your own thing. Hopefully somebody out there is feeling inspired. Okay, let's see. What other size shall I do? Okay, here's one here. Thanks, but no thanks. Senior Living. This Chartwell company um, we have in Chilliwack, and I believe they're Toronto-based. I'm not sure, but okay. We don't need to read the mail. We just need to cover it. So let's do that. Put this back on my book. And here we go. Just cover the bottom. And let's go with one of these this time. Aren't these pretty? Oh my goodness. Is this going to become a floral one? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll start with this one. And then there's a spot here for this little piece. Okay. Oops. A little more glue here. Okay. Let's glue some more strips. I guess when it, you're doing straight across strips, it does make it a little bit quicker. And again, I didn't want to take too long today. I just wanted to... some strips glued down and show you guys how simple this is. We're going to do some of these book pages now. Here and let's put on a piece of music sheet here. Now we need some, we need something, oops, a little bit plainer. So it's pattern, plain pattern. I don't like to have too much pattern all in one little clump. I think I'm going to do that one right there. You betcha. You betcha. And you can always, um, if you don't like the first layer of, of your um, collaging, then add more. Change it all up. You can, you can add layer upon layer to this. You can change the color theme. You can do whatever you, you know, if you don't like it. I don't always like to put too much thought into things because it can tire my old brain out. So I just start and we see what happens. Here, we'll put this plain piece right here. This is from part of the book pages that I've tore out. So I'm going against the sideways layering, and that's okay too. Okay. Let's see, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm gonna tear this piece. I think I'm going to put this right there. There we go. Take it off the book page. Take my scissors. Scissors, where are you? Oh my goodness, see? See what happens? 
Well, that's too funny, you guys. These scissors are blue and pink. Oh, there they are. This is the story of a crafter's life. Okay, I'm going to cut it to the edge of this. See, I've got to have some. I'm gonna to have to use use some more glue to glue down the little edge. When you get your base cut, when you cut off the excess, then you can see just where you need to add more glue. And lots right here, so let's do that. Down, and I'm gonna do this little corner here. Sorry if I'm not in frame. Sometimes I forget that you guys can't see beneath the camera. All right, so that's down. That's down. I can see a little bit of the base of the mailer here. So what do I want to do? Do I want to cover it? Do I care? You know what? I don't really care. So let's just let's just ink it up. By the time you ink it, you can add this and that in your tab and Okay, I'm gonna take this page off because it's a bit it's a bit gluey, so A little bit of ink helps, doesn't it? Now you see these strip edges. I'm going to ink those as well because it highlights. It highlights the uh, pieces that you put down. And you want to show your pretty work. All right. It does bother me, I'm not going to lie. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to cover that a little bit of this. So I think what I'm going to do is, look at that, chapter 10. Let's get that chapter 10 right there. We're doing it. I think it was maybe right there, okay. This a little more wonky too, so that's okay. It's things um, things change as you work and create. That's what it's all about. And then I'm going to give this a bit of ink. a bit better about that now. I love how I started out organized and now look at my piles. That's okay. This is my last one I'm going to do with you guys on camera. So, oh, and I forgot the music page. Oh no. We must do so. Oh, I got some there. Never mind. Never mind. Very good. I'm going to move it aside. Actually, that would look nice too. Oh, I like that. Oh my goodness. Hmm, I'm kind of liking that too. Okay, doing it. It's upside down too. It's the name of the book that I've used these book pages from. The, the Manasco Road. The Manasco Road. I don't know if any of you read it, but I haven't. I get old books from thrift stores and... I often just use them for things like this. Okay. Add a little bit of ink to this. It 
If you guys know of any challenges, would you mind um, letting me know in the description box? Um, not really hard, long, intense challenges, just fun, quicker type challenges. I'm always, I'm not always, I'm always late to the party and I don't always find your challenges, but I'm happy to join if you know of any. So let me know. I would really, really appreciate that. Okay, so we need a focal point. Now, what do I want to put on this one? Ooh, that's pretty. No, no, no. That's, that's pretty too. I already did this one on one of my other ones I showed you earlier. Ooh. Hmm. Ooh, bird. Will this match? That's kind of cool. Not going to lie. This is, oh, I like that. Okay, that's it. That's the one. You just, sometimes you just know. Actually, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I'm not. That's not enough pop. I need some pop. Oh, that's, that's a good amount of pop. Color pop, that is. All right. So, let's do a little inking. Yeah, so like I said, I'm going to do another video. Probably today, it won't go up until tomorrow. And I'm gonna show you my new project I'm working on and a couple of things for organizing ideas. If you're interested, you can check my channel out um, as far as what arrived in, in the mail or, or from Amazon. I like that, but I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Why am I not sure, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, we're putting it down. Sometimes you just have to go with it. There we go. This one, though, is going to need some cheese glass Some little fabric texture, a fabric texture uh, touch. And maybe even a word. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to put it in a different direction. I don't like that they were both the same. Okay. And I think... What do I think? What do I think? Um, that's kind of cute. Let's see... What is jumping out at me? Maybe. <clears throat> Maybe it needs a number. I like that. We're going to put a number down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do, do, do. That's probably good enough. Or do we want a darker one? No, I think I'm going to go with this one. Oh, I'm going to go with this one. Hmm. 
Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I wasn't going to overthink this, but oh no, here I am. Yeah, no, that's good enough. Or let's just see real quick. I like the shape of this one. Hmm, we're going with that one. Give it a bit of ink and then we're done, you guys. So when I cut this one up, because it's too big for anything, when I cut this one up, it's going to have, well, a focal point of the flower and then of the number, because I think I'm just going to cut this in half and it'll become two tags. Put the glue tip on. And then what I'm going to do, actually, because now it's going to become two, two tags or two side pockets or whatever I end up doing with it, but I'm going to put a whale tail there. And a whale tail there, but I want some design on it. We could do this. Ooh, I like that too. All right, let's do that. We'll glue this together. A little bit of ink, 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 ink. We got that one there and we're gonna put a whale tail here. Because why not? I don't want to cover that 10. I don't know why. So there we have it. Come on, get in there, glue. All right, so um, some collaged junk mail. But if you want, let's cut another tag together. Let's do it, let's do it. Okay, um, i use this again. Let's see if this goes through. Okay, right there. Probably about there. Okay. And there we go. Cool, cool. Let's do some round, some corner rounding. If you're looking for a good uh, corner rounder, I've been, like I said, I this craft room was born four and a half years ago and I had no supplies whatsoever. I bought this um, and I've used it. I can't even tell you how many times I've used it. Tons and tons and tons of times. And it's still super awesome. Gives me no trouble at all. I'm always interested in hearing um, people's uh, experiences with different products they use because say, uh, hey, we wanna, oh, look at that. I gotta put on some, some journaling paper, but I'll do that after. You know what, I, you know the routine here. You just use a piece of, a piece of writing paper and you glue it onto the back and then it becomes a journaling spot. So I think that's going to wrap it up, you guys. I'll just quickly give this some ink. And this side here. It was 
fun. I was happy to be to turn my camera on. I don't always do it. You, as you'll know, I do most mostly what I've been doing in this past year is flip throughs of journals that I've completed. I am trying to do some more craft with me videos. Not always convinced people are interested because I tend to do simple simple ideas that I've done before. But I have quite a few new um, followers, and I know that people are new at this and. I know that I gleaned from so many ideas from people. Um, and the more you glean from people, the more you find your own, you know, your own flavor of, of the way you craft. And I just appreciate everybody's ideas. So I hope that you'll appreciate this and you feel a little bit inspired to take your junk mail and create some fun journaling spots. So I'll put this one like that, and like this, and this, and like that. So this is it. From off-cut pieces, scrap pieces, take your roller tear, use your hand, use your scissors, and have some fun creating. So thank you guys for stopping by. I hope that you um, will... Find some time to create yourselves today, and I hope you'll have a wonderful week. Again, I will probably post another video tomorrow of uh, in showing you through a project I've started and a couple other things. So with that, I want to say goodbye, and thank you for stopping by, guys. Bye.